Shalom, this is your boy JJ. Uh, back from a long hiatus, but uh, I came back because I wanted to make a video for targeted individuals. I want to ask a question. Is it possible that targeted individuals are being um, targeted by um, the Most High, the Most High Yah, to see if they are going to be chosen? Is it possible that this is a training, um, a training session for for people on Earth that that are not um, seemingly they they, they 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 know more than other people know as far as the spiritual realm they know uh, they they see how the enemy and the spiritual realm works against them and against other people in the world um, they 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 don't respond to um, to adversity the same way other people respond to it. Um, Everything is pretty much different for these people. Uh, target individuals, um, they, it seems like they have a bullseye or target on them, a bullseye on them. Like they're fish out of water. Like they're, you know, they're the ones that, um, that are different. And people, there's something about them, you know. People know they're different. People, people sense they're different when they come in the room. There's just a different aura that's in the room. Um, you know, there are these people going through this as like a preparation for being either chosen or not chosen. And the Bible talks about being um, uh, being called and then being chosen. So those are two different processes, I guess, that happens. Two different scenarios. You either get called at first, and then I believe that you're chosen. So is it is it possible that? In order to be chosen, you have to get through, you have to answer the call and handle it the right way. Um, so maybe the trials that, that target individuals go through, they have to overcome the trial. And it says in the Bible that I'm um, thinking that's strange, you go through this fiery trial. You know, your brothers also on the earth are also going through these trials. So is it possible that all of these different things that target individuals go through, how they're very sensitive to the spiritual realm, how they know... Um, they, you know, it's just obvious. They go through things no one else in the world goes through. Is it possible this is a training of some sort? Um, some sort of training that the Most High Yah is uh, allowing them to go through in order to, bring, to to find out if they're going to be chosen. And chosen for what? Um, some people could say 144. Some people could say, um, I'm not really too hip on the 144 thing. Of course, I've read about it, but I'm not going to make any assertions about that because I don't know. But um, maybe it's uh, this this whole thing because it's so unique, it's so different, it's so otherworldly. The experience that target individuals um, that we go through, and so maybe this is something that um, is is um, because of the Most High God, He's in control of everything. He's above every power and every principality. So even when it seems like it's um, this thing is otherworldly, like it's just you know, there's no it makes no sense. The stuff that we go through. It, um, you know, it seems like you're in some sort of matrix, some sort of just, you know, other reality, other, it seems like it's another realm. You don't know if people are responding the way they, they are because maybe, they, maybe they're not aware of their, of how they're responding towards us. Maybe they don't know, or maybe they do know. I'm under the impression that they do know, that there's people that are sold out, of course, to the fallen one. There's people that, um, because they don't know the most high God. That then that spirit, just like in the Matrix, can just jump in them, and then all of a sudden cause them to either say something or do something, um, which which would be um, which you would perceive as being a target individual would perceive as being against them, or it could be, of course, uh, you know, they could be taken or taken by demonic possession, or it could be a fallen angel that's in human flesh because they can um, actually transform um, into you know into different things because it says in the Bible that um, you know. Um, it was to prefer to paraphrase. It says that you know you might be um, amongst an uh, angel unaware, and so all these things are different, uh, different, different, different ideas that you can think about when we think about this whole target individual um, phenomenon. You know, it's it's just, it, it's it just came to me today. You know, of course the Most High Yah, He's in control of everything, so He sees everything, He knows everything, and so. His people that are for are his that he knows from the foundation of the earth. He will um, he will guide our path. Whoever those people are, 
he'll guide their path. And I think that there's talking individuals that that are, that are going through a process, so they're they're te maybe being tested to see if they will be chosen. And some of them might not make it, but some of them might. And so regardless of uh, what they've gone through or what they're going through, the target individuals that will make it, they are going to be, no matter what it looks like, they're on the Most High Yah's path. And so he is shaping and molding, cultivating the path and, and, and orchestrating everything so that they do make it because he has called them from the foundation of the earth to be chosen, regardless of what it is. And I don't think that, uh, that you know, of course, the, the following's realm, I think they might have an understanding of who he, the Most High Yah is cho choosing, you know, who, who, he, who's he, who he's in the process of, of um, um, of cultivating to to assume that that position of being chosen, but I don't think they know who the chosen ones are too, because in the Bible it says that the whole world uh, is, is, is is paraphrasing. It's like the whole world, and even the, the, the sons of, of, of heaven, which are the angels, the Most High's angels, they're all awaiting to see who the children of the Most High Yah are. So it's this, this, it's just everyone's sort of sitting back and I think um, maybe just like observing this whole earthly, worldly experience that we're all going through, and they, and everyone wants to know who is going to be the sons of the Most High at the end, because it says that we're supposed to stand. You know, we're not, we're supposed to stand until the end, right? And so, um, when you've done all you can do, stand, right? Until the end. And it says, we're not saved until the end of this thing is over. That's paraphrasing. But we're not saved until the end of this thing is over. So you can run the race and do well all your life and then fall off. Or you could have done horribly all your whole life, been against the most high your whole life. And then at the end, he can, he can carry you and he can drag, gra grab you by your arm and allow you to have salvation to, 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 to trust in him and his son and, and, and repent of your sins and obey his commandments and to be somebody that's that's obeys, following him and serving him you know spirit and truth you can be that person but it's it's all up to him and so regardless so so what i'm saying in, in conclusion is the whole target individual thing um, i know that it's spiritual now there's people um, i saw a video on here from um, I think her name was, um, uh, what is that, Avenger, some political Avenger. She made a, she had really, um, I think it was a very inquisitive type, um, interesting video where she was talking about how the, the weaponry that, the, you know, the government and all that, that they have to, for surveillance and just like how it's like 30, 30, 40 years in advance, maybe even way long, way more than that, and how they can, um, how they can basically see our thoughts and how they can basically, uh, um, uh, uh, they're, they're using like, you know, por portals and stuff and they, 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 can, they, can, they, can, they can, you know, it's basically using the, the technology that they have to be able to surveillance the population in ways in which we are not, uh, that will blow our minds. It's way beyond sci-fi, it's way beyond science fiction. Uh, stuff that we've talked about, them being able to read our thoughts and to know, always know where we're going and to be able to put their agents wherever we are at because, you know, and it doesn't make any sense for like how, how, did, how are they able to know where we're at and what we're doing and, and all of these different things. And it's like she was just talking about how it's, it's mostly the weapons that they have been uh, making and that they've, they've, they've perfected from a long, long time ago and they're using against us and we're just now sort of finding out about these sorts of things. And of course, um, the target individuals are the ones that have this perception, this mindset, this understanding of knowing something's wrong when the rest of the population doesn't really know that they are being surveillance, that they don't, they, we, they don't, they don't, the rest of the population does not know know that this whole life is um is 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 is, is, is been orchestrated Everything in this world has been orchestrated, and that there are people on Satan's side, and there's people on the Most High side, and the people on Satan's side are operating the spiritual realm in order to be able to know things, to do things that are otherworldly, that are not natural. And so we're going to uh, we're, we're 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 dealing with phenomenon that's unnatural, and the and the target individuals are are unique because they can sense it and they can see it, and they know it, and 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 it's difficult beyond belief.
Um, I mean, I haven't even been making videos just to go through the stuff that I'm going through. Um, there's been you know, people that have wondered where I've been and stuff, and, and I'm still just trudging, just trudging in the world and doing what I'm supposed to do and, you know, just trying to every day just uh, give it to the most high and, and, uh, and just, uh, you know, study and, and to be approved. And, and I'm going through my own personal things. Uh, but it's like, you know, this is a hard, t very terrible type of um, trial that we go through. But the thing is, is this, we always have to give the most high uh, all praise. All praise to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In the name of his son, Yahushua, and Mashiach. Because regardless of what we go through, he loved us enough to send his son to die for us. He loved us enough, even when, even, even in our sin, even when we didn't know him, he, he kept us alive. He sustains us. He gives us the power to make it through the day. He allows. He says he'll never give us more than what we can deal with. So the Most High God is always there for us. But see, the thing is, is this is a, a battle unlike any other battle. And a lot of times, people don't understand the battle you go through, and they're not supposed to. But here's the thing: as long as you keep him first. And you trust that he has control of the process. That's the, the, the new for targeted individuals, which I think this is this is a cultivation process to see who's going to get chosen. I think that we don't know who's chosen yet because a lot of people will go through this battle and they won't be able to stand. It'll be too it'll it'll be too much for them when it's really not because the Most High God says He can do all things in Christ which strengthens us. He says that those things that are. are impossible for man are possible for Yah. So those that truly sell out to that truth of knowing that all things are possible for the Most High Yah to, to handle and that he's in control and above every principality and every power, those people that truly um, harness that idea and that mindset and that truth and, and live by it and they keep their eyes on him and they don't allow the things that are happening in the world to kind of get them down or to cause them to give up hope. There's there and they, and they turn away from the sins, of course. They tr keep their trust in Christ and the blood of Christ. They're the ones that will be saved. So that's what I'm looking at. It doesn't matter what we go through. It matters who we go to, and that's the Most High God and His Son. And we can't allow any of the trials we go through to take us away from that faith in Him. And that's it. Doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you're at right now. The main thing that you the target individuals and people that aren't target individuals. Keep your heart, your mind, and your focus on the Most High Yah. Do not turn away from Him because the breakthrough is around the corner. And who knows? It might come to a place where you've done so much standing and you've done so much, you know, cry out to the Most High Yah and His Son to save you, deliver you, to change your mind, to help you in this fight against these, these perps and all of these people that are seemingly coming against you nonstop. That He just says, Peace be still. And then all of a sudden, he cleans your whole life up. He gives you the he gives helps you to see his imprint, his power in your circumstance, in your situation, to the place where you start to respond and, and you start to react and and, and, and to, and to, and to um, dwell in that power. And you start to be able to see that power manifest all around you and in your circumstance. And so then you might get this impact. You never know what he can do because he can do things inside of our spirit and our minds and our souls that is beyond belief. Go, go throughout the Bible and read different things that he did for his people that cried out to him. That felt like there was no other resource. They were, they were done for. They were lost. They were done. But they kept in every one of them. They all kept their trust in him. No matter what they went through, they kept their trust in him. The Most High Yah and His Son Yahushua Hamashiach, and they trusted in him. They cried out to him. They, they put, they said his word. They preached it. They, 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 um, they, uh, um, um, they, they were reciting his word and just putting his word into the into practice and letting his word uh, go out there and, and handle because his word is what created the earth. His word is what created everything we see. So we have power. It says that. He says that. Um, the power, the, uh, what does it say? It says that um, uh, the, the weaponry of our warfare is not carnal foil. It is sufficient for the bringing down of strongholds. So we have to understand that those that trust in that. So when you speak his word, you've already changed your environment. You, we can change our environment by his word. And I think that that is the evolution. That's the, not the evolution, forget that word. That's the, um, that's the, uh, uh, the, the, the progression that's going to be made in the spiritual realm, in, in, in the hearts and the minds of those that he's trying to reach. When we start to realize and truthfully, tru truly believe that when we speak his word, that it's changing things in, in our circumstance and all around us. Those that can do it at another level, at that other level, that other level that's suited for the last days of time, which is now. 
those people are going to start rising up all over the world and they're going to gonna start seeing all kind of miraculous things happen in the world because they're going to truly believe. He says, just believe. So that's what I'm trying to get to. Just believe when you speak that his word over your circumstance, regardless of what it is, it's going to happen. And then you're going to have to, we're going to have to just wait, wait on him, wait on him. That's the price, the hardest part, the process of waiting, seeing his word manifest, come to fruition fruition that's that that's the that's going to be the progression in in, 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 the, in the in the power um, power source of his people when it begins to bud when it begins to become manifest on earth as these people are different these people got some when they really start to see you'll know it too you'll and it's, it's, i can feel it in the spirit it's about to happen all over the world the people that are the most highest are about to wake up because their faith is going to become so strong and so steadfast in him and his power to do all things. They're going to, it's going to, you're going to start seeing his power manifest all over the earth and the wicked ones are going to see it. And it's just going to be, it's going to usher in even sooner Christ's return because it's going to be too much power. I can see it We're on the precipice. I can see it. I know it. So anyways, um, Maybe this 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 whole target individual fight for those that have a, a, a faith in the Most High Yah that are that you know you, you, you trust in Him. You might struggle in your faith, but you you believe the word of the Most High Yah. You, you don't understand what you're going through. You're like, what is this battle we're going through? I am here to tell you that maybe this is we're talking about so much target individual, and we always think about the enemy when we think about we're targeted by the enemy. Maybe the Most High Yah is using this to see who is going to be the chosen. We're called, whoever, and it could be the Israelites like me, which I believe in a Negro, Negro that are scattered to the four corners of the earth, but it could also be some Gentiles that are also uh, chosen, chosen to do a certain thing. I don't know about the 144 stuff as much as I should, and I'm going to do more study on that, but I'm thinking that the ones that, that apply the most high to their, to their mindset and how they look at this thing. And, and, and the ones that use his words there as his power source and don't allow these obstacles we're going through from being from these perps and all these satanic people to bring us down, to get the dominion over us. Those people that do that, you're going to move from being called to chosen. I really believe that. All right. Uh, there will be more videos. Sorry for um, not making many videos lately. Been going through, but the voice here is blessed. And um, give all praise to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In the name of his son, Yahushua, Mashiach, forever. Amen.